Hello friends and welcome back to Mrs. Kitchen's class. Today we're going to keep learning more and more about using coins and today we're going to talk about how to use the least amount of coins for a coin value. So let's take a peek. What does least amount of coins mean? Well that's a really good question. You can use different coins to make up certain values and usually there are more than one way to do this. So. Here are two examples below of how to show 25 cents. We have two dimes and a nickel, and we have a quarter. So if I was gonna do my running total, this would look like 10, 20, 25. So there's 25 cents. And then my quarter is just 25. So those are two ways to show 25 cents. So which one of these sets of coins that equals 25 cents is the least amount of coins? That's right, it's the second one right here. One quarter is less than two dimes and one nickel, or three coins total. So how do we find the least amount of coins? When you want to show the least amount of coins, you start by finding the coin with the largest value that you can use. So you start by looking at the quarter, then the dime, then the nickel, and then finally, the penny. Remember, a quarter is worth 25 cents, a dime is worth 10 cents, a nickel is worth five cents, and a penny is worth one cent. So let's practice. Let's make 30 cents with the least amount of coins. So can we start with a quarter, a dime, a nickel, or a penny? Well, let's start with our coin of the largest value. We've got a quarter, and that's worth 25. Is 25 less than 30? Yes, so we can start with a quarter. So here we have our quarter. Let's use a running total to help us keep track of the value of our coins. So above my quarter, or my letter Q if I'm writing it, I'm gonna write 25. Okay, so we're needing more because we are not at 30 cents yet. Can we use a dime? Hmm. Why or why not? Why can we use a dime or why can we not use a dime? You're right, we can't use a dime because a dime is worth 10 and 25 plus 10 is 35. That goes over what we're looking for. So we can't use a dime, but what about a nickel? A nickel is worth five. Can we use that? Why or why not? You're right, we can use a nickel because 25 plus five is 30. So here's our nickel and let's add to our running total. So we had 25 plus five, which is 30. So we've made 30 cents with just two coins. That's the least amount of coins. We started with the largest amount and then we worked our way downwards. Let's practice this one. This time we're just gonna write the letters for our coins and do a running total up top. So we have to make 43 cents with the least amount of coins. What coin do you think we should start with? I agree, let's start with a quarter. So here's my quarter, and my quarter is worth 25 cents. Can I add another quarter on? No, because if I did another quarter, that would get me to 50 cents, and we're only going to 43 cents. Could I add a dime though? Remember, a dime is worth 10 cents. Yes, we could. We could do a dime and add 10 cents, which gives us 35. Can we add another dime? No, you're right, because if we added another dime, we would be going up to 45, and we only need 43. So it looks like we're done with dimes. What about a nickel? Can we use a nickel here? Yes, we can, I agree. If we add a nickel, then our running total will be up to 40 cents. Can we add any more nickels? Nope, you're right. We only go to 43, which means our last three cents are going to be made up with, yep, pennies, you're right. One, two, three pennies. And I'm going to add my running total, 41, 42, 43. We just made 43 cents with the least amount of coins. There's six coins, which is not few coins, 
but it's the least amount of coins. It's definitely less than doing 43 pennies. Okay, let's do another one. Let's look at 57 cents. So which coin should we start with? Quarter, nickel, dime, penny. I said those in a weird order. Should we use quarter, dime, nickel, or penny? Quarter, I agree. Quarter, which equals 25 cents. Can we do another quarter? We sure can. Another quarter gets us to 50 cents. Can we do another quarter? No, because that would take us all the way up to 75 cents and we only need 57. So can we use a dime? No, that takes us to 60, which is above 57. Can we use a nickel? Yes, we can. A nickel is worth five, so our running total goes 25, 50, 55. And now I don't think we can add any more nickels because we couldn't do dimes and two nickels is worth a dime. So that means our last two cents, 56 and 57, have to be pennies. So we made 57 cents with the least amount of coins, starting with our quarter, we didn't use any dimes, but then going to nickels and then pennies. Okay, one more. How can we make 100 cents or $1 with the least amount of coins? Remember, we're not using dollar bills, we're using coins. So which coin should we start with? Kiss your brain if you said quarter, that's exactly right. Here's our quarter and that's gonna give us 25 cents and then from our last one, we know we can definitely do another quarter to get us to 50 cents. Should we keep going with quarters? What do you think? I agree, another quarter would get us to 75 cents. Can we do another quarter? Yes, we can, because four quarters makes $1 or 100 cents. Here's a fun rhyme to help you remember how to count by quarters, 25, 50, 75, 100, makes a dollar, makes a dollar. Can you say that with me? Here we go. 25, 50, 75, 100, makes a dollar, makes a dollar. That's gonna help you later on. All right, now it's your turn. Practice making money values with the least amount of coins. You can make up your own amounts or you can use ones from a teacher or a parent or even a sibling. Have fun, I'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for more from Mrs. Kitchen's class and I will see you soon. Have a great day friends, bye.